Yeah, I was just uh, working on my old uh, Sears Roebuck uh, air compressor. This thing's ancient. Needs some love and attention, but I just want to show you guys these uh, little connectors here real quick. These things are really nice for uh, soldering your connections together. Okay, sorry guys, I had to come inside here. It's getting pretty loud outside there. And, uh, so I wanted to show you a little bit better here in detail. I got a couple packs of these. So there's all kinds of different sizes. You know, what gauge of wire is this? I can't remember. And it comes with some heat shrink, which is so small. I don't even know what you'd even use that for. But you can buy these on eBay or Amazon. The same difference. I got these on eBay. I believe. Yeah, eBay. I got them there. Okay, so I'll show you how they work. Like for tensile strength, they're not. They're pretty strong, but they're not really good for you know if your wire gonna have a lot, of, a lot of pressure. I mean, there's really nothing. You shouldn't have your wires under too much pressure to begin with, but you know, I'll show you here. They do work really good. Uh, you know, I do a lot of off roading, so actually, I do have a lot of problems with like connectors. Used to have a lot of problems with connectors getting dirt in there or water corroding. So, you want the centers of the wires that's like solder in there, okay? So, you kind of want to got that a little bit off center there. There we go. Kind of want to cram your wires together, like super tight. There we go. It's perfect. So now I found best to use, this is a grill lighter, like a torch one. Uh, I tried to use in like my map gas, a little torch, and it was too much, too quick. Like a heat gun would probably work ideal. So we're going to heat this up nice and even. Then little blue balls in there they're blue rings they're plastic some kind of plastic or rubber it, it melts it seals it up it keeps all that water and crap out of your connection and just kind of heat it up nice and even he said if you take your time sorry about the camera i don't know it's just refuses to focus correctly anymore i think it's time for a new one <laughs> Okay, so you just want to heat it up nice and even. Looking good. Just take your time. The more time you take, uh, the better these turn out. And if you do it right, they work really good. I had these connected uh, on a couple different things, and I don't think I ever had a problem with one yet. Okay, she's looking pretty good there. Get a little bit more heat in the center on the solder. Like I said, these sometimes like them regular butt connectors or whatever, they'll get corroded in there and then you'll lose connection. Happened to me quite often, you know. Some dirt and crud in there and it corrodes and breaks off or whatever, what have you. But these are sealed up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. You don't want to get too hot and melt the rubber through. It's pretty resilient but like a big torch will do it all right it's looking pretty good there okay now it's very important you let this dry you have to let it dry you can't like just tug on it now it just... okay so it's nice good and dry uh, there we go and it's looking very good it's connected very strong uh let's see if i can pull this apart i mean honestly i'm pulling pretty tight on that let's see here There it goes. But, I mean, that's pretty tight. I mean, that's really, you know, let's see. Let's see if you can. So, it holds tight and water sealed. So, these are very good little thing to have. Ah, just wanted to make this video just in case anybody was wondering a good way to connect wires. You know, like I said, I work on a lot of vehicles, off-roading and shit like that. So, yeah, these are great little great little thing to have in a toolbox.